Welcome, guys, to another episode at the Kirill on You podcast. Today we have with us Daniel. Daniel. So please, Daniel, please do like a proper introduction of yourself, what you do, who you are, and what's your story. Yeah, thanks a lot. So I'm Daniel. And so Moonshot, our mission is to create a full world simulation to predict the future of everything. So like if there's a bushfire over here, how does the weather and wind speed move the bushfire? How does the bushfire cause air pollution? How does the air pollution affect cancer rates? How does the cancer rate affect your life expectancy? How long you will live? And how does it affect house prices? So we're trying to, you know, trying to predict everything. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, I mean, great, but is it even, is it, is it, is it even possible? Because there's so many factors to take into consideration. You, ca you kind of have to be good. That's a very good question. So that's, that's a fair point, right? Is it even possible to create a world simulation? So from, from our view, yes, it is possible. And the reason why is you need three things. The first one is you need to predict everything. The second one is you need to collect all of the world's data. <laughs> and the third is you need fast algorithms to process the data quickly. If you want to create like a world simulation, you can't wait, you know, 10 years to predict one second into the future. So what we do is we make algorithms faster. We predict many things and we collect tons of data. But I mean, even if you collect all the world's data, there might be not enough information to predict stuff. Predict everything, yeah, sorry, well, not that's just stuff. <laughs> no, that's a fair point. So we, for example, I think through our experience, for example, we helped predict Zika virus outbreaks. So before COVID in Brazil, there is a Zika virus from the mosquitoes. It makes your head, it makes the baby's head extremely large. So it's very problematic. So we could predict the outbreak three months in advance. We also predicted Pakistani rainfall with 85% accuracy. Um, we predicted traffic congestion, air pollution. We predicted car crashes. So we have done tons of stuff. And the whole point is we're bringing all of the stuff that we've already done into one system. Yeah, if that makes sense. That's amazing. But again, like I'm so fascinated when you just say everything. Well, well obviously not everything. But like in general, <laughs> so you can ask, for example, the system, you can ask a question. For example, the question could be, how do I live longer? And then that, the system will, will look at all the data, will say, okay, if you want to live longer, you have to close your windows from 5 to 6 p.m. because there's lots of car pollution. There might be asbestos in your backyard. You should tell someone to remove the asbestos. There's many, many other factors that the system can tell you that can affect your health. Um, and that's what this, so you can't, obviously you can't ask every question. There is a limit to the system, but our goal is to, you know, that's the mission. The mission is to make the system ask any question that you like. Um, yeah. So I think it's ki kind of, kind of Google search, but like more personalized because I can ask Google like, Hey, can I, how can I live longer? It can give me like a couple of, like, no, not a couple of searches, a lot of searches, but I think what you're trying to do is like make it more, like more, more specific. Correct. Exactly. Right. So you don't just, for example, we can predict, you know, how does climate change affect your house specifically? Right. So, you know, those sea levels mm. rising, does it affect your house price? Is there a bushfire risk? Is there a chance of fire causing mm. your insurance money to increase? So yes, you're right. It's like a Google search. You can ask any question that you like, except ours is more personalized. We directly, the question is directly for you. Yes. And I think because people only care about themselves, I just think I don't know, a big proportion of people are just selfish. So they don't care how climate change will affect uh, people in, I don't know, if they live in the UK, affect Indonesia, let's say. Who cares? I care about my, my house in London, how it, be, uh, how it will be affected. So I think people will pay enough money for that stuff. Yeah, exactly, right? So that's what we, so for example, if we can tell you, you should plant just two trees and it can reduce your chance of a flood. Like sometimes there's tons of rainfall and a flood can cause your, your house's boundary, uh, your, your house's structure to be reduced. So maybe we tell you, okay, you should plant some trees, you should plant some plants, and this can increase your house's strength and your, the house's life expectancy by like 10 years. And it can increase your house value, something like that. Hmm. Cool. I know a few people, I know s some people who are trying to build like a system that you put the symptoms of the patient in and it generates for you which what kind of disease it is based on a percentage of, of accuracy so i'm guessing your system will also do that 
that's the hope. So in the future, so for example, these diagnosis, self-diagnosis systems, you know, as you said, you give us your symptoms, the system will see, look through all of the data and guess what is your illness? What is the problem that you have? So our system is kind of like that, except that the difference is we don't actually ask you symptoms. You can ask the question yourself and we give, so currently there is no health system inside it, but obviously in the future, we'll probably do that. Great. So let's say, wait, how many, how many years ago did you start? Oh, so, so, okay. Well, long story, but Moonshot by itself as a venture, a venture was like, we started like 1.5 years, but fast algorithms. So we actually have fast algorithms, which are used by NVIDIA, Facebook, Microsoft, many other companies. They use our fast algorithms to make the, you know, the time is reduced. For example, NVIDIA, three hours, we made it five seconds. Some other algorithm, we made 95% faster. So that, that portion, that was like two years ago, 2.5 years ago. So now we're bringing the fast algorithms together into Moonshot. Whoa, <laughs> that's so fascinating. That's so cool. Good job to all of your team. Let's say down five to 10 years down the line, you become like a huge, huge company. And it's very dangerous for the big companies like Google and Microsoft and Meta and all of those big companies. And they offered you like a couple of billions to buy the company. Are you selling it? Obviously not. No, 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 definitely not. We are aiming for the, you know, we want to be in the ranks. We want to be even bigger than them, right? So that's the hope. Obviously it sounds, you know, far-fetched. It sounds a bit crazy, but that is our hope. Like we believe that a, you know, a world simulation to predict everything is the next big thing from, from our view. If you can predict everything, you know, like finance, when is the next global financial crisis? Um, which stocks will increase, right? Even just through finance, we can do tons of things. But if you could do, if you can do climate change, health, insurance, right? You can offer our own, we're going to offer our own insurance, climate change mitigation insurance, health insurance. We're going to be doing tons of things. Yeah. So we, we want to be above them. Yeah. Yes. So I think I spoke to a professor who finished in Imperial College for computer science. And I gave him idea of like creating a, a, a system that is kind of generated by AI that would predict the success rate of an, of a NFT project. And then he told me that you must take into consideration the multiple factors of randomness, even, even including like the stocks and stuff. And then since people will see your system, they will also build their system and there will be like a bunch of, and like, let's say the, all of those systems are like affecting thousands of hundreds, thousands of like millions of people, then it will be like so much randomness that this, all of the systems will fail and they will be inaccurate. So how will you combat this problem? That's a very good point. So for example, in finance, there is a theory called the efficient market hypothesis, which says that if you do the prediction of finance in the end, randomness will rule. There'll be no, you can't really predict markets. Um, that's a very, very famous theory. However, the point is you assume so the, for our systems, we assume the efficient market hypothesis. We assume that you cannot predict properly, but by assuming that we can actually predict it. I know it doesn't, doesn't sound right, but because you're assuming that there is randomness in the system, we're exploiting it. For example, most data is in a normal distribution, like a, you know, a bell curve. If the data is like, if the data is not within the normal distribution, it's outside of the normal distribution. We're going to assume the data returns back to the original state. And by assuming that, we can do tons of predictions. For example, rainfall, right? Rainfall is quite complicated to predict, but we can predict with 85% accuracy. Financial crises, we can predict with 95% accuracy in the last 150 years when a financial crisis will happen. So they're hard to predict, but it is possible. If that answers your mm. question. Yes, but again, I think you didn't answer how do you rule out the randomness? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. So th the point is we assume that the model is random. We assume that the data is random and we use that. We use that to our advantage, mm -hmm. right? Data is clearly random. So we're going to, we're going to, by collecting all of the world's data, the randomness, yes, it will increase, but that's the whole point of machine learning. We're predicting the future from the past and we can, we, we just assume randomness. I I'm not sure if I'm, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm okay. answering the question properly, but yeah. I think, I think you are answering my question correctly. It's just like, I'm so, I don't know if it's the right word, word to use, but naive and inexperienced in this type of industry and niche that I am not clearly understanding how you would do that, but I understand like your logic behind it. So since I am not a programmer or a coder, I'm not sure how exactly you do that, but 
I'm guessing that you have obviously found a way. If people want to invest in your company, do you offer shares? Yeah, so we anything? chatted with some. Oh, sorry, sorry. Go on. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, if you want to invest in your company. Yeah, so we chatted with some investors. We chatted with like Blackbird, Folklore. There's many, many investors that we chatted with. Currently, everything is early talks. So we're not, you know, we're not that serious yet about taking investment because, you know, my brother, so this is a two-person thing. My brother and I, I'm the engineer, my brother's the designer. So we, so we can actually do this ourselves. We don't actually require tons of investment. However, the problem is, you know, if we do this ourselves, then it will take time, you know, take quite a long time to reach the final goal. However, we can bootstrap this, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that's amazing. I might invest into your company, man. I'm right. Or, or either invest or like either just hope you guys like with the, with whatever I got, like I, I'm a marketer. So I hope like multiple like clients and people achieve like their goal. So if I, whatever I can do to help you with your marketing strategy, because I'm not a coder or anything, I'm just a marketer. So whatever I can do, just let me know. I would love to help you this project. You, you, you saw my enthusiasm from the start. I'm like, whoa, that's cool. Everything. <laughs> oh, well, well, thanks so, so much. That's much appreciated. Obviously, if anyone can help us, that's very, 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 like, very nice of you. If you can help us. Yeah, that'll be much appreciated. Yes. So you work with, how do you work with Microsoft and NVIDIA? Oh, no. Okay. So that's the fast algorithms. Um, so we have fast algorithms. It has 1,200 GitHub stars. If you type, if you Google HyperLearn, HyperLearn GitHub, it has 1,200 GitHub stars. It's used by Microsoft, Facebook, NVIDIA. There's a mm. whole list, University of Washington, Greece, Kupai, whatever. There's a, there's a quite a lot of list. And so what they do is they use our algorithms. They're currently for free. So we, we published 50, 50 fast free algorithms and they use it in their research papers. We still have 200 more, which we have not released. And we're hoping to use the 200 more that we have for the world simulation. Yeah. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. So how exactly did you, how did you actually come up with this idea? How did you actually decide to start this project? Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's a long story, <laughs> but like there's two different components. One is the fast algorithms. The fast algorithms was actually a university project. So it was part of a course and your, my final project was to make algorithms faster. Because the problem is my computer is very slow. So that's how the fast <laughs> algorithms came to be. But the world of simulation was a separate thing. As I said, you know, we helped predict Zika virus outbreaks three months in advance, Pakistani rainfall, 85% accuracy. So we've done tons of those things. And then we thought, wait a second, you can predict so many of these things. Why don't you combine everything, right? Combine, you're predicting everything, just combine everything into one system. And that's how the world simulation came to be. Yeah. Okay. So do you currently have a website or anything? Oh, sorry, sorry, a what? Do you currently have a website? A website? Oh yeah, yeah, we do. So the website is moonshotai.org. Unfortunately, we couldn't take, you know, that we, we wanted to say like moonshot.io or like, you know, moonshot.com, but they're taken. So our website is moonshotai.org. Yeah. Okay. Can you show us, like, can I allow you to share your screen and you show us around the website and show us Show us how your system works or something, something like that. Oh, oh, I'm actually on my iPad. Um, I have to try. Um, I'm not okay, sure. Okay, let me share my screen then. Oh yes, yes, yes. If you can share. Yeah, sorry, my my iPad is. No yes, it's moonshotai.org. Oh, it's moonshotai. Yes, dot org. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's amazing. Okay, so basically, I enter my email here. Oh, so that's the, that is a, that's the wait list. So we haven't actually, so we haven't actually released a system yet. However, in the future, when we do release it, um, you can join the wait list. But if you scroll down, if you scroll down, there is a list of, you know, if you, you can access the fast algorithms by pressing learn more, mm. you can check if you want to confirm that we're not, you know, making things up and not lying, then you can check our research papers, which were there. And then if you scroll on the bottom, it tells us what we're trying to do, you know, our mission, fast algorithms. Blah, blah, blah. And then if you, yeah. And there's more stuff. Yeah. So those are the research papers, right? Microsoft, University of Washington, you can open the research paper to confirm. And then there's tons more. Yeah. Amazing website. Oh, thanks a lot. My brother designed this. So thanks to my brother for designing this. Um, yeah. So that's the, yeah. 
So that's the Zika virus outbreaks, you know, the other things that we have done, the predictions. Yeah. Okay. And how are you thinking to monetize this? Oh, that's a very good question. So we have different routes that we can monetize. The first thing is we're doing financial predictions. For example, as I said, we can predict global financial crises with 95% accuracy. Last, we just started predicting inflation. So last November, December, we predicted it accurately. And we put out predictions on Wall Street bets. We have over like, we have over like 250,000 views on one post. So that's, so we're using our financial predictions to raise money. The second one we're going to do is we're going to offer data reef, which is a, it's like data robot. I'm not sure if you're familiar with data robot, but you give us your data. We do the predictions for you. For example, let's say you're a supermarket chain. You want to increase people buying your products. You give us your data and we combine it with our data that we have. And we can tell you which customers are the most you should talk to, or, you know, you can give vouchers to. So that's another way that we can raise money. And the final way is, you know, offer insurance, climate change, mitigation insurance, health insurance. We can do tons of insurance because we can predict, you know, how long you will live. We can predict the diabetes risk. We can predict all of these things. Yeah. It's that. Yeah. Mm, interesting. So this is a very cool project. So what is your biggest struggle right now that you're looking to solve that people can help you or like, yeah. Oh, well, okay. Our current biggest struggle is data collection. So like government websites are very annoying. If you're trying to collect data from government websites, the data tends to be very ugly. This department looks like this. This department looks like this. Oh my God. And another country, it looks like this data format. It's horrible. And the worst part is when the data is wrong. So for example, we contacted tons of, tons of like stock market data vendors. The data doesn't match the official data. So we have the official data. And every single time their data is like 30% off. One data point was like 10 times off from the official number. So it's very bad. And so data quality, data gathering is a very big issue for us. Yeah, currently. Okay. I might know a few people that are a software engineers at very big companies. Maybe that would help. Oh, yes, obviously. If that's, yeah, if you can contact some of them, that'll be much appreciated. Yes, of course. I, I will do that right after this call. Right after this call immediately. Um, because it's a very interesting project. And I think it will impact many people's lives. And, and I'm all about helping other people. Like, money is money's secondary. Number one is just helping other people's lives. And having an impact, having a good impact on this world. So exactly. Yeah. Well, so, well that's so much appreciated. Yeah. Thanks so much. Okay. So yeah, thank you for coming on. I, I think you have to run. Thank you guys for watching the episode and yeah, good luck on your project and everything. Thanks so much. I'm super appreciated.